paint and flares. It's colorful and in your face. Paintball. Paintball players, the best in the world, gathered in Orlando for the World Paintball Championships, and we're set for game six in the opening round. Let's go to Fred Schultz with the teams. All right, I'm here right now with Bad Company from Maryland. Tommy, maybe you could tell the people out there just a little bit of how you guys are going to approach this game. Um, we're playing Palm Beach Predators, which is a real young, fast team, but we're going to try and get more guys on the front line. We're going to send four guys all the way up to the furthest bunkers, which no one's tried yet, hoping to catch them off guard, and then we're going to go right at the 10-minute mark, hoping to crush them and get the 200 points. I'm here right now with Palm Beach Predators. Art, I'll tell you what, you guys are playing a pretty good team over there in bad company, and I think they come ready for you, but I think you guys are up to the task. How are you guys going to approach this game? Uh, we're going to take it hard to them. We don't want to have a, a stalemate game like a lot of these have been slower games. Uh, we like playing fast paintball. That's what we're going to do in this game. We are underway. Bad company in blue coming from the left. Oh, yeah! He's going for it! He's going for it! He's going for it! You're gone! And in white and red, the Palm Beach Predators on the right. He's in all spots! Fairly good advancement early on. John, this is going to be an in-your-face paintball game. And the first player with an official in his face is Adam Noble of the Predators. He's gone, and Bad Company leads it 4-0 right away. And now it's 4-4. Chris Ramuzzi gone for Bad Company as teammate Tom Cole moves up. Each team is continuing to move. They lost a player, but they're trying to get the angles on each other, trying to create gaps. Ten men to a side. You score by eliminating your opponents, and you get four points for each opponent you get rid of. Then you get ten points for pulling your opponent's flag, 50 more for taking it back and hanging it at your flag station, and for every full minute under 20, you get that all done. An additional ten bonus points. The most you can get, 200 points in a game. There's Predators captain Art Peacock strutting forward. On the sidelines, Fred is with Chris Ramuzzi, who's been knocked out for bad company. What, what happened? Where'd you get eliminated? Um, I got shot on the loader. We are uh, right there. We uh, want to get real fast and up and in their face. And uh, I had whole sides. I had their entire team's side. So I just stayed in there tight and tried to shoot. I guess I stayed pretty tight because I didn't get hit in the body. I got hit in the gun, so. Green Raw Raw, Green Rookie. Tommy Cole calling out to his bad company teammates. He's just lost two more. Mike Leffler and Rick Crawford in a one for one. And on the Palm Beach Predators side now, Jamie Hunt is called out of there. That makes it 12-8 in favor of the Predators. The teams are thinning out. Predators have lost two, bad company have lost three. They're still moving. The field gets bigger as the numbers get smaller. Smaller yet, Jerry, as Mark Davis Get goes out for the Predators, tying the score at 12-12. Look at all that paint flying. And the judges right on top of the players. And now they've called Coleman Kelleher out for the Palm Beach Predators, putting Bad Company ahead by a score of 16-12. to There's Scott Shoemaker of Bad Company. And on the sidelines are Fred Schultz is with Adam Noble of the Predators. Where, where exactly were you when you got shot? Were you up in the front? Uh, up in the middle here. Uh huh. What happened? We didn't expect them to get a guy up here this far on the tape. And I was expecting just to shoot right. Mm -hmm. And they got a guy there and just he shot me in the back. How do you know he's there? So you got you got shot after you were behind your bunker though, yeah, not I got sliding my bunker, in. Yeah. Huh? A foot shot on him, but the guy's yeah. Predators now trailing a lot of time left in this game. Let's take a look at how they're set up. Well, they came out exceedingly fast. The Predators had a good front line, but they were out too far. Four of them got shot within the first couple of minutes of the game. Bad Company set up a little more conservatively with two solid lines of players. However, as we see, Mike Leffler gets called out. And apparently Mike tried to stay in too long because a one-for-one one was called and Rick Crawford, you see the official at the top of the screen, walking back and taking Rick out of there as well. So Bad Company lost two players at the same time. And that's where they had three players lost to the four players for the Predators. But still, Bad Company leads it by a score of 16 to 12. And we have got a lot of time. Wait a minute, they don't lead it anymore. Steve Robinson is out of there. And that ties the score once again at 16 all. And like I said before, and now it's becoming important. 
This field, which is 500 feet long and 200 feet wide, is no longer a field for 10 on 10. It's a field for six on six. A lot more room to maneuver, a lot bigger for the teams out there. And we look at Jackie George of Bad Company squeegeeing out his paintball marker before he can get back to firing at the opposition. Across the field, here's Buddy Peacock, one of two Peacocks for the Palm Beach Predators. Again, we are tied in this final game of the first round, and on the far side, brother Art Peacock moves up near the tape. He's gonna try and get some angles on Bad Company players toward the near tape line. The 1996 World Paintball Championships are brought to you by Paintball Sports Magazine. From pickup games to tournaments, novice players and champions alike read Paintball Sports Magazine. We are in the final game of the first round of the World Paintball Championships here in Orlando, Florida. The round that determines who stays and who goes right home. Hello, everybody. I'm John Nicholson, along with Jerry Braun, managing editor of Paintball Sports Magazine. Jerry, seed seven against seed six, the Palm Beach Predators and Bad Company from Maryland. And the seeding will tell you, John, just how close this game is going to be. Seven against six. Two really good teams. It's going to be decided on who can capitalize on their opportunities. It ought to be a real exciting one. Let's talk about what we fire the paintballs with, Jerry, what we call the markers. Well, virtually every player here plays with a semi-automatic. That's because they can get a lot more paintballs out in a lot shorter time. But players have just as much fun using pump guns. Pump or semi-automatic, you still have a load of fun. All right, Jerry, let's find out who's using those markers to the best advantage right now. Back to the action with the Palm Beach Predators and Bad Company. The score is tied here, and you know that official has not been eliminated. That's what the lengths are they are going to to make sure they see everything. This crew based out of New York, the best around, headed by Bob Rose. Al Buddy Peacock shifting from one side of his bunker to the other for the Predators. And there is another bad company player eliminated. That's Old Pollock, and it puts the Palm Beach Predators ahead 20 to 16. Another bad company player checked for paint, but he's okay. Tommy Cole, captain's got to start being concerned. He's down to five players. Defenseman Leroy Roder cleaning out his barrel. He's got to be ready. So many eliminated already in this contest. And not even at the five minute mark. Bad company has still spread the length of the field. And William Jolly now is moving up for the Predators, a defenseman in the defensive zone, as you see by the solid red bunker. Stripe bunkers mean you're in the front quarter. And there is another bad company player out of there. This time it is Scott Shoemaker, and that puts the Predators ahead 24 to 16. Look at the teeth going right along with the shooting there. That's intensity. Bad company's got to be concerned. Predators have six players on the field. Bad Company has four, and a lot of time remaining. And as Tom Shearer makes the move, we just heard the five-minute horn, indicating now that in addition to the forwards, the four halfbacks also make cross midfield again. There's Tom Coletti getting to midfield, but maybe not getting there safely. No, Coletti is gone. And that makes it 24 for the Predators, right 20 for Come Bad Company. Hand, they John. tried Take to gain, hand. the Predators John. did, Take and it cost hand. them, Jerry. Each team is still trying to move to get angles on their opposition and eliminate them. You've got five on four, you've got a big field, you've got plenty of room to maneuver. And there's plenty of time, too. A long way to go to the 10-minute mark, so either team, if it can pull and hang, can get a maximum 200 points. Still time for some strategy before a move has to be made for maximum points. Officials right on it and occasionally taking some paintballs themselves as we look at Art Peacock up against the far wire for the Predators. And his teammate Tom Shear. Both of them concentrating fire from the far tape to the near tape line of bad company. There's the target, Bad Company's Leroy Roder, the farthest forward, but he is about 20 yards back from midfield. Yeah, it seems as though the Predators are more aggressive. They are further up the field. They should be getting the better angle, and very frankly, the score seems to bear that out. That score being Palm Beach Predators 24 and Bad Company 20. 
Buddy Peacock looking for an angle. Tommy Cole making a move. And we move to Fred Schultz. Well, you guys came right at him, just exactly like you said. How, how do you feel it's going right now? Is that a good plan? Yeah, I think it's going good. What we want to do is come up as far as we can, send our smaller guys up to the whole front row, which hasn't been done yet. <laughs> Take some of their middle guys out and hopefully move up the team quicker. Right. Because right. we want to we get it done in a certain time. No conservative play going on in this paintball game. The Predators lead it 24 to 20, and we'll be right back. Paintball is ready to explode right now. Uh, overseas, uh, we got fields in China, um, South Africa, all the European countries That's are just exploding right now. Yeah. Paintball is here to stay, there's no doubt about that. It's really grown in popularity in the last three to four years. We kind of feel like we're just at the tip of the iceberg right now. I think this sport is uh, uh, going to become uh, an international favorite uh, with everyone. It's pretty fast, pretty exciting, very active sport. Something that anybody can do also. Bad company. Four players left, but they spread the field. Still good shape. They're facing the Palm Beach Predators. Five players left. One in the back. They also spread the field. Anybody's Look game. Look left! I know! William Jolly for the Predators moving back after calling out to his teammates. Twelve teams started this tournament. This is the final game of the first round. Sixth seeded Bad Company, seventh seeded Palm Beach Predators. Six teams move to the next round, but your total in this round and your total in the second round will determine which three teams make the round robin final. That is why each team wants to hang its opponent's flag and get as many points as possible in this first round. Buddy Peacock has got some paint on the barrel of his marker. Here comes the official to check it. If it's only splatter, not a direct hit, he will not be eliminated. Indeed, not. He's cleaning it off, the official is. So Buddy Peacock stays in for the Palm Beach Predators. A lot of paint raining on Captain Tommy Cole. That's not stopping him from giving directions, though. We are getting fairly close to the 10-minute horn when everybody is able to move anywhere on the field, so they may be plotting a move. Also, they're trying to figure out what the Palm Beach Predators are planning. There's a move up on the left side for Bad Company as we look at Jimmy Sarajeva of the Palm Beach Predators. Looking right, shooting now left. Bad Company is now further up toward the middle than the Palm Beach Predators. And look, John, at how far back William Jolly is, way back in his own territory. Behind the solid red bunker, the shorter bunker indicating your back quarter, the striped taller bunkers indicating the front quarter. Here's what it's like to have paintballs come flying at you. And another little house cleaning job on the far wire by an official. Art Peacock reloads. Each player carrying 1,500 to 2,500 paintballs in the canister. And there is another bad company player out of there. Captain Tommy Cole, John. They lost their captain. That makes it 28-20, Palm Beach Predators. Tommy is not going to stick around, it appears. He'll sprint to the far side of the field. I've got to assume that's where he's going to try to instruct his team, even though he's out. You may do that if you stay in a certain area. Now here is another Predator who is out of there. And that is Tom Scher, making it 28 to 24 in favor of the Predators. This is really going fast. There's the 10 minute horn. Now everybody is free to go anywhere. That is everybody who's left and not many players left indeed, Jerry. Only three on bad company facing just four on the Palm Beach Predators. Look at how big that field is now. William Jolly moved up. He's no longer in his back quarter. He's getting up toward the middle. He has to, to be effective in this game. Jimmy Sarajeva tucking in behind the bunker. Looks like he's reloading there. There goes Art Peacock. And there goes the bunker. Art Peacock plainly not pleased with that. When the bunker goes down, you are all by yourself in a rain of paintballs. And once again, we are tied now at 28. 
who will survive this one? Bad Company moving up. Time starting to run down. Remember, for each one minute under the full 20 that you hang the opponent's flag, you get 10 bonus points. Leroy Roder chattering along with his trigger finger. Bad Company is spread nicely toward the middle of the field. Jimmy Sarajeva, William Jolly, Buddy Peacock left for the Predators. And for Bad Company, Leroy Roder, Jackie George, and Jeff Shank. Three on three. Jolly being checked for paint. And the Predators anxiously hoping their guys can pull it out. Jolly makes the move now to the left, going for position. Let's go to the sidelines now and talk with Art Peacock. Well, hey, Art, man, you, you put it to him just like you said. You know you had him up by one body. Yeah, I know. Uh, I seen you run up to the bunker. What happened over there, man? It's going too fast into it. The bunker collapsed on me. You hit it and it bent over, huh? Could have had that center guy out if I could have stayed there. Yeah, you had you had some pretty good position on that. Stuck in tight. Well, you guys are what? Three to three now, huh? Three on three. Yeah. Peacock's Predators 28. Bad company as we look at Leroy Roder checking his equipment. 28. Time winding down in this final first round match of the World Paintball Championships. Let's take a look at how the remaining guys set up. Bad company, Palm Beach Predators, not 30 yards apart. This should be some finish. High score, Palm Beach Predators, bad company, and there is William Jolly of the Predators and Leroy Roder of Bad Company. Each one of three men remaining on his team, Jolly looping now to the far wire for the Predators, being followed closely by an official. There are now almost twice as many officials on the field as players as Jolly keeps moving. Jolly's trying to get an angle on Leroy Roder from the far take line. There is Jackie George for bad company at midfield, and Jimmy Sarajeva about 10 feet away. Sarajeva takes a hit. Jackie George also is out of there now. Listen to the booing from the sidelines. What is that about? Both men are out, and it looks as if neither was hit by the other, both taking fire from elsewhere. In any event, it's tied now at 32 all. Two on two. William Jolly on the far tape. Getting instructions from a teammate who is out, but that's all right because he's within the prescribed area, out of bounds. Buddy Peacock, his teammate, the only two left on the field for the Palm Beach Predators. Two, two on two. Bad company. Leroy Roder makes the move to the left and slides in safely. You're looking for midfield now. And each team is looking for that last break to go for the flag. Here's Buddy Peacock. He's going to make a move now. And here comes some paint right in your living room as Buddy retreats. Let's go to the sideline and check on that controversy. What, what happened? Why was everybody booing out there? You know, did, did he, he come in first? Did he get hit first? What was he doing? Well, he didn't shoot me. I, well, maybe he did. Um, Apparently I was hit right here, but I'm where I had this thing here, I didn't feel it. They say I shot after I was marked, but it, maybe I did, I didn't feel this hit. When the judge told me to stop firing, I did, but they all felt that I had continued firing. Oh really, so I, I see what happened there. You, you see have something in the pocket? Oh. I have this handkerchief right here. Back on the field, they're checking Buddy Peacock. And Buddy is out of there. That makes it two left for a bad company and only one for the Far Beach Predators. 36, 32 the score. And not very good news for Bill Jolly, the only predator left on the far take line. Gotta think there's gotta be a move. Sure enough, there it is. Leroy Roder heading up the far side toward the flag, gesturing to his remaining teammate to hold off and or get rid of the last predator. Jolly's out of there. And Roder checks the time, pulls the flag and will try to get back as fast as he can to the opposite side as Jolly leaves the field. Jeff Shank is waiting for the handoff. Leroy's just about going to make it. He's huffing. He's puffing. He's the little paintball player that could. Down he goes. His teammate now has the flag, and he's going to sprint to the flag station. 500 feet on that sandy base. 
Not an easy run. There it is. Not a clean hang, doesn't matter. When you pass the line, you're good. You're checked for paint, you've got a win. And a tough win it was for Jeff Shank and Bad Company. And the, at this moment, inappropriately named William Jolly. He's anything but a tough loss for the Palm Beach Predators. And Leroy Roeder, a spent man, but a happy one. Let's go back now and take another look at that controversial play, Jerry. Well, you see Jackie George, the bad company. In comes Jimmy Sarajevo. Jimmy is hit even before George gets his marker up. George was hit from the far tape line. Now here is the move for the Palm Beach Predators again. That's Buddy Peacock coming in. Key play. We get sprayed right at home. And unfortunately, Buddy gets more than spray. He gets eliminated. That's when it became only one remaining for the Predators. They'll check for paint as they always do. That's all he needs is a good pat on the back, by the way. Talk about in-your-face paintball. There it is, literally. And the perfect example of why you need those safety goggles. Leroy Roeder. Wait a push! That's bad company style. And we'll be right back. Feels so good. Feels so good. It's what I live for. There was good game. Awesome. Good action. <laughs> there was a good game. Good job, Adam. Good job, Coleman. Good job, everybody. Played hard. Yeah, Woo, thank you. Great job out there. Oh, tough game. Tough game. I, I noticed Stick Tui to get the flag back. <laughs> we had that plan. One run to midfield. We had that plan to get it back in the shortest amount of time to get the most amount of points. Excellent. They had a plan from the get go. What, what, what do you think? You know, that was one of the most interesting games we've seen. I mean, thank it's you, just thank like you. one for one. one well, we're both we're both hard teams. Oh, without There's a doubt. There's no way it was going to go the time. Both Palm Beach and us are going to go to hit each other, teams. play hard. They're a tough team. <laughs> what, do, what, what do you think contributed to you winning? What do you think was the biggest factor, guys? Um, Had to be something. Well, we took more risk. I yeah, we took we, more risk. We here. pushed hard. We tried to push hard. As you know, bad company always tries to do that. Right. And it, you know, we lost a few in doing it, mm -hmm. but we get the guys to the key spots, and it helps us out a lot. One more look at the move that turned the game, Jerry. Buddy Peacock from the Palm Beach Predators tries to make it up to the further bunker on the near tape line. He gets hammered. He was trying to get an angle on Leroy Roeder. Instead, he got eliminated. The 1996 World Paintball Championships have been brought to you by Westgate Resort. Over a thousand suites in the Orlando area, minutes away from all attractions. And by Paintball Sports Magazine. Game sites, stores, equipment, special events. The first and last word in paintball all over the world. So Bad Company completes the field for round two as they defeat the Palm Beach Predators 140 to 32. Our next game as we begin round two, the Houston Heat, who piled up 140 points in their first victory against the upstart Turtles, who got 120 in knocking off the number one Ironmen. In the pursuit of the trophy, they will join the All-Americans, Rage, Avalanche, and now Bad Company. For Fred Schultz and Jerry Braun, I'm John Nicholson. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.